Hi, this is So You Wanna Be A Journalist and today we're talking about imposter syndrome. This is something that I personally have struggled quite a lot with. For me, a contributing factor is that on a lot of teams that I've been in, I've been the only person of colour and also the youngest person and sometimes by quite a significant amount. And the two of them combined usually made me feel like I was just there as a diversity hire or to fill a quota. But I don't feel like that much anymore and here are some tips that help me sort of kick my imposter syndrome in the face. First one is just fake it till you make it. When I was having like really bad confidence issues, I decided to just think and I was cool and really good at my job and then I internalised those feelings and now I just feel less imposter syndrome all the time. It's also important to remember that you were hired for a reason. I'm not gonna lie, there are diversity quotas that exist, but at the end of the day, a company is only gonna hire you if they think you're capable of doing the job well. Even if you are there to make a team a little bit more diverse, that doesn't mean you're not capable. They literally would not have hired you if they didn't think that you could do the job properly. And speaking of doing the job properly, look at the stats. The numbers don't lie. If the content that you're putting out there is constantly performing, that's a massive sign that you're doing well. Yes, constantly craving validation from other people is not the healthiest way to live your life, but it definitely definitely helps having a team of work cheerleaders. It could be getting good feedback from your manager every now and then, or it could just be someone else in your team that like, you hype up whenever you think the other one is doing something really cool. And kind of on that point, having a mentor or someone that you can get feedback from on like a regular basis is also quite good. And finally, this last tip was given to me by Kezua, who was a wonderful journalist. Believe in your source. Tell yourself you're hot shit. Sometimes you just need to be your own biggest fan. I hope this was helpful. If you have any tips on how to overcome imposter syndrome, leave them in the comments.